What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. It happens to the best of us. We're calmly farming top or mid lane when our bot lane gets killed three or four times and then we're left in the dust feeling like there was nothing we could do, and that we lost because of our bad teams. Well, in reality, that's not really true. So here are my tips and tricks for what to do when your team beats. Let's get started. The first and most important thing to do, and it's something that I actually really don't see as often as I would like to, is that you need to change your play style. When you see your team starting to feed and getting solo killed in lane and getting snowballed on, you have to be proactive about the situation, because at the end of the day it is a team game after all. So when your team starts to feed, someone has to step up and start to carry if you want to win the game. You have to change the way you play to be more aggressive. Take a little bit higher of a risk to try to get that lead. Obviously still do your best to not make mistakes, but do increase the amount of risk you are willing to take and try to get ahead of your opponent when you see your team start to feed. When you see your team getting solo killed, don't just sit back and keep farming until they get snowballed on. You have to react quickly and do something, your best to give the team some control on the game, at least. And so, you need to snowball as hard as you can. This means getting ahead from the aggressive outplays and then using that to snowball. Be careful and buy wards because when the enemy team sees that you are trying to carry while the rest of your team is feeding, the opponents are likely going to camp you as much as possible, so you have pretty much a big target on your head if you're the one carrying a feeding team. What this means is you can ward up and try to turn ganks if you're far ahead enough, or you can at least try to set up some counter ganks. Play aggressive on your lane opponent and snowball the lead individually in the 1v1 or 2v2 scenario, and try to get as fed as much as your team feeds to account for the deficit. Of course, that's not always possible, but even just a few kills can go a long way and will help a ton in doing what is my next point, and it's transferring your lead into global pressure. And the best way to do this is, of course, through roaming. After you pick up a couple kills on your lane opponent, take your turn and gank constantly. Ward the map with your allies and look for ganks and counter ganks, only returning back to your lane to push it out quickly, and then going to roam some more. This is really going to help your team out a ton and should be done as early as possible. You really don't even have to take the tower, to be honest. Just push out your lane and ward the path you take to roam so that you know that you weren't followed. If you can get ahead in lane and get some kills from roaming, transition that into objectives and make team-based plays in order to help your allies catch up. If you outplay your opponents, you should have no problem carrying your games, or at the very least finding a lead that your team can work with in teamfights in order to catch up effectively. And as the game goes on, just make sure that you're keeping a positive attitude and a good outlook and making sure that the team environment as a whole does really well. And all in all, just remember, when your team starts to feed, you are kind of playing on a clock. A lot of players don't really do anything until it's too late, and then they're left feeling like there was nothing for them to do, when in reality, there was a lot they could have done, but they just missed their opportunities since their team fed a few more kills and then were able to outplay ganks. And because of that, they missed their chance to carry, and so you have to take advantage of the opportunities while they are still there. Anyways, that's just about it. My name is Jeremy, and that's it for my tips on what to do when your team feeds. Hey guys, it's me, Jeremy. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit that like button so I can tell, and if you're interested, definitely check me out on all the socials, of which you can see over there. And if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future, as well as you can check out some of my other videos up here and over there. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.